happy people. I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and you're looking at some very special people. These are my friends, the Hokoks, PK, Bimbe, and Pedro. They're from the island of Rota in the Western Pacific. And then this beautiful lady right here, I gotta get right next to her. <laughs> Today at 1.47 p.m., she became a grandma. Yay! <laughs> Little Leo Lacera. Very few kids get a shout out on their very first day of existence. He's about, what, three hours old now? Yeah! Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> This is Christy Lacera. They own the company Gator Pro. This is like the easiest way in the world for you to catch a really big alligator. That's a beef long. This is from Gator Pro and they can send it to you. I'm gonna show you how to bait. First thing you wanna do is you wanna locate an alligator that's the size you're looking for. They got PKs all choked up up there. <laughs> yeah, I was holding it when you were talking about it. <laughs> Hey, this is great stuff, man. Come back here, awesome. Anytime I'm running like this, I'm always looking for a big one. You know, you're just running around, but this isn't how I find most of them, but I'm always looking. We just found something very interesting. PK, go up there and get that, please. Check this out. Hold on. Let's see if we can fix it. Somebody put this here for a reason. Drive me over to that. Here, hold this, I'll drive you over there. Okay, just hold us right there. You simply can't script that. You just cannot script that. That flag is going home and going in my office. Uh, were you rolling on that? Yeah, uh, the tree just fell down. Folks, we're going alligator hunting. Very sorry. deploy our bait while on the fly. What I've learned is you don't go all the way to free spool, put just a little bit of tension on it. You want a bite of that? There he is, 11 footer all day. He's right there. Okay, start to slow down. Keep going. Just at, there you go, perfect. A little bit slower, but just keep going. Okay, that was a perfect, here you go, let me get it. We're just gonna slow down like that and not even make any commotion, but that was an 11 foot alligator right there. Big one. It's very important if you're baiting alligators, have a reel that holds enough line that you can get far enough away from the alligator that he doesn't even think you're a remote problem to him. Our only problem now is that we've got a, a northeast wind which is gonna push that bait away from him.
Sit down on your butt. Hold your feet. Hold, no, hold, no, 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 with your feet. Just hold that. There you go. Now we want to be very quiet. Oh my God. Look past the dock. Look through the dock. Like a hundred yards past the dock. There is a freaking giant. Oh, he's about to eat the bait. PK, PK, reel just, just so the line's in front of you. Just reel it so the line's in front of you. Oh, dude, he just gobbled that bait up. All right, so we literally, we put the bait out 20 minutes ago. We're just making a drift along here. Obviously, he saw it, came out, ate it because he was upwind. Typically, you think that gators are gonna be downwind, they'll smell the bait and go to it. He was upwind and went straight to it. I mean, I looked and it was just like a linebacker taking down a baby gazelle. But um, good thing. the good news is, I'm about to rig up a uh, rod here and we're gonna go catch him. Put a little bit of tension on it. We just don't want the line to be loose going on the reel. So that bait, has no hook in it. It's just an indicator. He's gonna reel the line, keep it nice and you know tight, just so it doesn't get all loose. We're gonna get close to the gator, and then, you know what they say, metal meets the meat. Then, let me see him. He's right in like the first piling against the bank. You see him? Yep. Peter B. Holo is the man. If he can't do it, no one can. Okay, Pete. Pete and PK go right up to the front of the boat. You don't need the binoculars anymore. <laughs> You're, about to see him. You're about to be really up close and personal with him. Hey, Chrissy. Have I told you I loved you lately? I love you. <laughs> she became a grandma today. She brought us baits and tags. I don't know. Special kind of human. PK, tell me where your line is. Right here. Does it go through the dock or around the dock? I'm not sure. I, it's going towards the dock, but. When we get close to this gator, just like you're trying to snag anything else, look at his line. You know the gator ate the bait and he's gonna be 10 or 11 feet long. So go about five feet from the line, pitch and slowly reel across the bottom, slowly. And when you feel him, just load it up and put the hook into him and it's a battle. From the head. Right here, right in front of me. Chrissy, would you grab my harpoon dart out of there? Yeah, perfect. And then just my harpoon's right under her feet. Yeah, got him, got him. There he is. Pete, here. Look at the bubbles, big gator. Nah. See how he's not running from us? This is the real McCoy right here, boys. Come on. Get up, you fuck. Hold on, hold on. Don't give him any slack. He's rolling on us. Oh. PK, come back. Chrissy, could you just shut off the engine, please? Now come over here. You gotta go to the other side of the boat. You gotta come off your drag. You gotta have very light drag. Okay. There. Let me get in front of you. I gotta get this dart in this gator. Over here. Keep him to the left. Keep that rod over here. Sigat, Sigat, Hala. 
Oh my God, he's so big and so strong. I hit his scoot and it didn't even, it didn't even affect God, him. Dang. What's that all about? <laughs> what was that? Dude. Hold on, I'll, I'll back us up. Oh, are you out of them? Okay, you're out. Don't get tangled up. Hang on. Oh, shoot. He went under. He went under. Okay, just put your rod tip down. He's in the motor. Go free spool on him. Yes, here we go. Okay, we're out. Okay, just just let him just go free spool. Let him go. Let him go. Free spool. Okay, let me get I gotta get a bigger hook. That's a big one, bro. He's a big. That right there, anytime you're on a big gator, you need a hook like that, for sure. Okay, PK, if he goes under the boat or does anything crazy, you just come off your drag so that you know he's not gonna pull the bait. All right. Because right, right now, there. this is all about him keeping that bait. Hold on. Now reel up on him. Oh, I just touch him. Got him. Got him. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pull. Pull, Pete. Don't wrap the line, please. He will roll up the line and grab your sire. He's right back here. That's fine. Come over here. Yeah. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. You just can't wrap the line around your hand. This is my favorite line of connection right here. Here we go. There's his tail. Hold on, just let him. Hold him, give him a little slack. There you go. Now hold on to him, pull him back. Shut off the engine. Think left there. Yeah, keep pulling. Pete, right over here. Pete, go to your left. Pete, go to the left, left side of the boat, over here, where Austin is. Keep following PK. There we go. Keep coming. Don't move, just pull him to you. Keep coming. Keep. Okay. All right. Take that. Now, let me just see what we got. Ooh, nice gator. Nice gator. Let, keep letting it go. See, smell that boar gator? Smell how it's all uh, real musky? Yeah. Okay. Right there. There you go. I love that part. <laughs> <laughs> now, there you go. Sun's not even down, y'all. We got a gator. Yeah. Whoa, he's not dead. Yeah, no, he ain't dead. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Right there. Now, son, if that didn't do it, let pull him me, to you. Him. Pull him that way. Yeah. That's for real. Big gator, dude. Whenever I get his head coming, you're gonna reach down and grab his front leg and we're gonna get his chest up here on the, on, on the, on the boat. Right. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay, no, get that hook out. Get that hook out. Give that to someone. Hold on. Hold on. Now you're gonna grab this leg here. No, Pete, drop yours. Drop that. Now, hold on. Now roll this. There you go. Now re grab his. Nope, nope, nope. Grab this outside leg right here. Now roll that and watch that back hook. One, two, three. Roll. 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 Now grab that. 
walk forward. Push him in there. Boy, that's a gator there, son. What you think about that? Let me get, bam. <laughs> bam through. Oh, you're the best. Gotta have the tags. Tags. Stick that in there. Chrissy, thank you so much for coming out here. Please, I love it. If you need anything for frog gigging, air boating, bow fishing, alligator hunting, you name it, huntinglight.com and gatorproutdoors.com. They make the best gear in the world for alligator hunting. There's no doubt about that. Thank you, thank you. Love you, give me a hug. Ooh. There you go. These people have been so close to me and Sarah and my family for so long. And it's I just can't thank, I can't so thank you enough. So much fun. Sun's going down and we got the gator we're after. He's awesome. Let's go to the house. What an amazing night. After putting that gator in the boat, Chrissy told me that she wouldn't be able to hunt another night this year because she's now a grandma and she wants to spend time with the grandbaby. So we put a couple baits out and in two minutes, we had a double on. Unfortunately, we only had one more tag. So we had gators going in every direction. Got them up. Look at the bugs. Look at this. Come here, boy. This gator ain't the big one. Drop, come, come off your drag, pick up your rod tip. Otherwise he'll roll into it. Okay. Still, PK got the kill one and uh, we ended the night with an 11-7 and a 9-4. I call that success. Now, because we were so short on time, we took the gators over to Florida Trophy Gators in Okeechobee. They processed them for us so that we had the meat for PK and his family to take home. Then we started doing some deer hunting and all kinds of other cool stuff. And it was just really exciting for me to get to spend time with the Hulk Hogs from Rhoda here in my hometown doing what I do. Now, if you guys enjoy videos like this, if you just enjoy seeing what we do like this, please leave a comment, subscribe. It's free to subscribe, doesn't cost anything. It's just a way for you to stay in touch with us. And it sounds like people are gonna do some construction work right over here next to my house. So I'm gonna go home, go in, finish this video, and we will see you next time. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.